I am deeply concerned as a state representative with the initiative that Francis Slade is pushing forward here in the city of St. Louis when it comes to initiating 30, 30 schools, 30 charter schools here in the St. Louis Public School District. As of now, there have been approximately $60, 60 million dollars, 60 million dollars that has been diverted from the St. Louis Public Schools. And if we want to fix the St. Louis Public Schools, we cannot continue to take from the St. Louis Public Schools. So as a state representative, my duty while in Jefferson City in, Je in January would be to go up to Jeff City and fight extremely hard to reduce the amount of charter schools that can occur in the St. Louis Public School District. That is what I will be working on, and I will encourage all of the St. Louis residents to get involved with the initiative that I will be pushing, the legislation that I will be pushing, and that's to show Slay that nothing can happen without the state legislators. And I will do all that I can do, can do, to reduce the amount of charter schools in the St. Louis Public School District. Thank you. Here's my simple question to the mayor. He pushed for a state takeover of the district. And at the last meeting of the elected school board in the spring, they announced that they had a balanced budget, but that the one thing that was going to be a huge weight on their shoulder was the unknown about charter schools. How many dollars were going to be siphoned out of the public school district at the beginning of the school year? The mayor then announced Rick Sullivan as the new director, the new CEO of the schools, and yet, and gave him a six-year mandate to repair the schools. Now, Rick Sullivan, when he came to Metro a few weeks ago to talk to the parent assembly, said, if you continue to push charter schools and vouchers, you will do in the system. That was Rick Sullivan's statement. And yet last week, Robin Bobby, the mayor's assistant for education, said, while we respect Mr. Sullivan, we made it clear to him, we can't wait six years. Very interesting. The Post-Dispatch said that this was the mayor opening a second front. That's war language. St. Louis public schools are being done in by the mayor. First by his bringing in Roberti, and by his pushing for a state takeover, and now by his undermining Rick Sullivan and the SAP that he so strongly endorsed, saying, we can't wait, we have no patience. This is lunacy, and we all know that. We all know that any serious educational reform in the city of St. Louis is going to require everyone working together for the long haul seriously addressing the issues that we all know exist and not playing games. First and foremost, let me just thank everyone that has been a petition gatherer. We have been uh, blessed with a cross-section of black and white, uh, gender cross-section, as well as age cross-section. We have worked very diligently, and I'm proud to say that at the canvassing Ward one, and we will be systematic in terms of our canvassing because we recognize that we have to have 20% of registered voters per two thirds of the wards throughout the city. I'm proud to say today that we have completed our canvass for Ward one, and we will now be moving to Ward 21. Also, I'd like to really emphasize that as we build momentum, that we will be having a rally to. Uh, motivate others to join our effort this Sunday at the Gateway Classic Foundation at 3 p.m. We are dedicated and we will, we will secure the over 43,000 signatures that will be needed to recall Francis G. Slate. AFT St. Louis's issue here today is accountability. $57 million of taxpayer dollars going to unaccountable charters. And many people don't know this. The mayor issued a bond issue for Confluence Charter Schools for $23 million. What would $23 million do to lower class size in the St. Louis public schools? That's a real issue taxpayers have. We want accountability. 
Thank you. What What is the uh, the solution if charter schools are bad? What What do you want done to fix public schools now that Slay is doing? Well, we believe that with the right kind of design and effort, that the public schools can, in fact, do an equal or better job than the charter schools did. Our record so far with charter schools has not been a good one. And as you survey the country, a lot of cities have had trouble with the charter schools. If the right kind of design work is done, you know, public schools put together in the right way, they can also give you the kind of specialization, the kind of, uh, of uh, niche type teaching that the charter schools do. But we can do this with the public schools. Yeah, some people might say we've been trying to find the right kind of design and the right fix for public schools for decades, and it's just been in a free fall. I don't have the answers, but what is the right kind of design? Uh, you know, some of the finest minds have been working on this. What's what's Slay not seeing that you think is apparent? Yeah, I think somebody wants to take that question. He's not seeing McKinley. He's not seeing Medford. He's not seeing Bernard. He's not seeing Excuse me. What we what we need is leadership in our school district that is accountable to the parents and the citizens in this city. An appointed board is not accountable to us. We. But you, you had an appointed me, board, and the answering. grades went down, and you lost accreditation. Let, let me finish answering the question. I've worked as a parent for several years to create a school board that was accountable to us. And through several election cycles, we finally succeeded in electing a majority of school board members who were parents. There is nobody who is more invested in this school district than the parents of children who elected it. And last April, we finally succeeded in managing to get four parents to be the majority of the school board. Two months later, the state yanked accreditation. If the parent-led school board had been given an opportunity to form this school district in a responsible way, we would be able to fix the problems in the St. Louis public schools. Uh, Susan, before you go, I have one more question for you. Uh, you mentioned in your opening remarks that uh, charter schools give uh, parents 15 more failing schools to choose from. Do you have any uh, data to support that? None of the charter schools in St. Louis are making annual yearly progress. All you have to do is go to the DESE website and look at what they're doing. They're doing worse than the St. Louis public schools are in terms of performance on the math test. 